Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael Crump here, back again, talking about all of the latest and the greatest PlayStation 4 homebrew news and much, much more. Today, I'm going to bring to you a discovery that I made today as I was doing a bit of testing, and that is simply there is an easy way to transfer or to create bookmarks for your PlayStation 4 by using a free tool and modifying one file. On your PlayStation 4, your bookmarks are actually stored in user home, user ID data slash web browser, and the name of the file is just web browser underscore bookmark dot db. This, just like all of the dbs, this is just a SQLite database. They're very easy to open, very easy to modify, and yes, these persist after you reboot your console. Let's learn how to do that right now. Go ahead and head over to this page. And if you go to the downloads button up here, I'm just using Windows and I'm using Windows 64-bit. If you're using Mac, it looks like it's got some support for that as well as for Linux. Let's go ahead and install that now. So I'm just going to click Next, Accept, Next. And I went ahead and added some of these icons here. You can do what you would like. Next, Next. And then Install. And then Finish. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's open up DB Browser for SQLite. And I'm going to click on Open Database. And I'm just going to select my web browser underscore bookmark dot DB. One thing to keep in mind is, is that you should go ahead and make a backup copy of your bookmark just in case something goes wrong. I went ahead and done that for mine, and mine's just called web browser underscore bookmark dash copy. Okay, go ahead and press the open button, and then navigate to browse data. Sometimes it starts over here with database structure, but you're gonna need to be on browse data, and then you're gonna select the table underscore browser bookmark. Okay, so any of these fields, as you see here, is editable. So if you wanted to go into one of these, you can just simply click on it, come back over here, edit it, and then press the apply button. A couple of things just to keep in mind here is, is that each of these create time, update time, and last access time needs to be following the UTC format. So when in doubt, you can always take one of these fields, copy it, and then paste it into another one. If you're using my database file, then it's already set and ready to go. And also, if you want to add more to this list, you can simply do so by coming up here and pressing where it says insert a new record. Once you do that, you'll have a brand new record. And again, just follow this same sort of format. So this would be zero. This would be whatever the title is that you would like for the bookmark, the URL. And then I would put zero and this should be a number seven. And then I would copy and paste these UTC times and then I would display them down here at the bottom. And if you don't want any of these records, you can just simply come back up here and then select delete record and it is gone. Now, before you leave this screen, you should go ahead and press the Write Changes button. If you don't press the Write Changes button, well, then it won't save. The other thing is, is that you should close the database properly. So click up here where it says Close Database. Now that database is ready to be transferred back on to your PlayStation 4, and you won't have to go through and enter all of those different bookmarks each and every time. This is especially helpful in this scenario where I needed to load a number, which was actually seven different hosts for some different testing that I was doing. But you may have other needs. So back over on our PlayStation 4, let's go ahead and let's launch PS4 Explorer. And I am going to scroll down to where I have my web browser underscore bookmark dot DB. Now I put mine on my USB drive, 
But if you used FTP or whatever, just make sure you navigate to wherever that file is at. And then you're going to want to press the triangle button and you'll get this option. And we're just going to select copy with X. Okay, now you can press the R3 button to get back to your home. And we're going to go down to where it just says user. And we're going to go to home and then our user ID and then web browser. And now we're going to press the triangle button and we're going to go to paste and we're going to select yes here. Now again, make sure you've went ahead and backed up that file before you overwrote it here. Okay, so we'll head into our browser and we're going to go down to where it says bookmarks. And there they are. There is all of the bookmarks that we added. So in this instance, we can go ahead and we can try a few of these. Gamer hack. We'll go back up to bookmarks. Let's try PRB. Okay. Back to bookmarks. Dark modder. Okay, so I think you get the point here. There are a couple of scenarios where I think that this would really help out, especially if you're helping out a friend that just recently did a jailbreak and you know maybe you've given them one of the hosts already and maybe that one was down for some reason. Instead of having you know to go ahead and you don't know, maybe text them another host or something like that, it's just nice to have all those in a bookmark where they can't forget about it. It's also super great if you want to transfer your bookmarks from one PS4 to another PS4, especially on these jailbroken systems. Anyway, I found that today. I thought it would be kind of cool to share. So I hope this helped. And with that being said, Michael, out. What, what are you still doing here? The video is over. It's over. It's over, at least for right now. Now, there's more videos that's coming soon. But yeah, I'm done. I'm done for right this very moment. I don't know. Why don't you just like hit the subscribe button? Um, it would really help me if you hit the like button. Also leave a comment. Comments really help me in the algorithms. Also, I know I didn't include this part right here, but if you head over to my GitHub site, well, you can download that bookmark file that I was talking about. Yeah, it's just like right here. You go, boom. And then you come over here and you hit download. And then you've got all of those wonderful hosts ready to go on your jailbroken PS4. Okay, so that's it. Seriously, this time I'm leaving. I really am. I'll see you on the next one. Michael, oh!